Hi, it's Andy here with another video that could save someone's life. And on this video, I'm gonna show you about heart attacks. A heart attack, by the way, is when someone is still conscious and breathing and they have symptoms. It is not when the heart stops beating. That is a cardiac arrest. There's always confusion between the two. A heart attack usually happens when a coronary artery on your heart becomes blocked and the heart muscle starts to die. Super quick action can usually mean a great recovery. Firstly, to show you what to look out for in a heart attack, I want to show you a really great advert that the British Heart Foundation made to get the message across. I'll let you watch it and I'll catch up with you again at the end of the video to tell you what the treatment is. Here it is. Hello! So, you're here to find out what it's like to have a, a heart attack. Well, we don't have much time because with heart attacks, you'd never do. Well, let's start with the first symptom most people think of. Yes, chest pains. Well, we've all heard of the classic chest pains, but it may not always be that severe. It could be a bit of tightness or discomfort in and around the chest. No doubt you'll shrug this off. I mean, uh, slight chest discomfort, tightness, not worth worrying about, right? Wrong. What if it spreads to your arms? Still not convinced you're having a heart attack? Well, what if you feel dizzy, lightheaded? Oh, still thinking, don't make a fuss. What if it spreads to your neck, to your jaw? You're probably thinking, tough it out, it will pass. What if it doesn't? The longer you leave it, the more your heart dies. How about difficulty breathing? Rising panic, sweaty, clammy. Could be indigestion, last night's curry. Stress. But what if it's your body telling you to get help? Don't kid yourself. If you're having chest pains or discomfort with any of these symptoms, or even if you're feeling unwell, Dial 999. Now, this may surprise you. The ambulance service would rather see you and discover it's not a heart attack than arrive too late. Every second counts. I know you think you'd feel embarrassed if it's not actually a heart attack, but imagine how you'll feel if it is. And you left it too late. Imagine that. What did you think? I think it's a great ad, which unfortunately they didn't keep on television for very long. So what do you need to do and think about when someone's having a heart attack? Well, firstly, most importantly, you need to call 999 and you need to get an ambulance coming to you. Then sit them down in a comfortable position. Usually the W position on the floor is the best one to do with some padding underneath their legs. Don't let them walk around. If the victim has a GTN spray, which they might carry around with them if they have angina, allow them to use it and see if it helps. If the victim is over 16 and not allergic to it, give them an aspirin. Aspirin thins the blood and it may help the blood clot dissolve in the coronary artery. A 300 milligram aspirin is the ideal dose, but any strength will do. It sounds horrible, but get them to chew the tablet in their mouth as slowly as they can, as this will get into the bloodstream a lot quicker than waiting for the stomach to absorb it. Then whilst you're waiting for the ambulance, stay with the victim and reassure and monitor them. Remember, the muscle of the heart is dying, so they are at a higher risk of having a cardiac arrest. See the video on CPR so you're prepared for this. So that's heart attacks. I really hope this has taught you something and hopefully you'll remember it if you need to. And of course, you can't beat learning it for real and practicing on others. So book a course with me and then you'll learn loads more life saving skills. Goodbye for now.